Hey guys, it's me Ken Gamer and today we're doing another vlog. This is my second experience of testing and putting vlogs on the video channel and today is a very different topic. I don't have any writing work today as long as I know so all I have is to get my gaming bag is to change my gaming bag for a day and I really really it really deserves a much entire replacement. Let's see where our gaming bag is eventually. Okay, this is the old gaming bag. Well, this is not a gaming bag that you expect, but this is very old. Very old for the time being. I mean, this was a transfer just because one of the bags of my older one was actually torn. And the zips were faulty. The zip lines were faulty. Or I should say the zippers in your language were faulty. So I decided to change from this bag to this new bag that's standing right there. That also is an old bag and it's good to see us transfer from this bag to old bag to this older bag because this one has got a much durable reliability. It's much durable, it's got an extra pocket inside and it's also got these well done made zippers. So without further ado, let's start transferring the contents of this one to that one within just a few, maybe just a few seconds from now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer the games from this bag and then we're going to keep it here and we're going to arrange it so we can easily say we're going to put it onto that bag. This is the first part, we're going to take it out and then put it here. Let's take it out. Every single game that I collected ever since I was like 13 years old and I still have the DVDs. A couple of things, I still need to install one or two of these games because they weren't properly, uh, properly they were properly installed on Windows 8 but not on Windows 10 and then my legacy PS Vita games as, we, as I all know as you all know I had to use a PS Vita earlier and if you didn't see my PS Vita videos you can go them and see today itself I still have the links in the description. The only thing I missed out was this Wi-Fi 2048 to play. I so madly missed it. And basically, that's it. That's very much it. The only exception is that the, this Microsoft Office document is still left and I still have it. Plus, this uh, monitor cleaner. Unfortunately, it's a bit old and expired. We will get to use that one day again. There's a camera manual. There's also another camera manual here. And... Oh yeah, this fiber cleaning cloth. This is one of the best. And I think pretty much, pretty well, that's much the stuff. Okay, I got this one. It's actually a multimedia card. Used in my Canon A50 50 power shot. It was an old camera and it still exists. But the world changes and you still have to move on. I think we've got another one as well. You we also got this cleaning brush, which was very useful at the time. You can use clear keyboards to clean it. And pretty much that's it. There's just some useless bills lying around. I think this paper is very important. What is written in that anyway? I think much is written in that paper. All of those are rubbish. And I got the Sabronix Power Manual Guide, which isn't in, the, in my home. There's one more paper remaining. It, well, nothing else is left. That bag's empty for now. It's time to move it to the other bag. We'll come in part two of the video. I did forget some things. I have to pack some more stuff into my gaming bag. That's right here. That is the pen drive box that I have there. That is the pen drive box. And uh, I have to keep also that inside. Plus, there's one more game on top of my box over there. And pretty well, there should also be a CD bag. And I'm supposed to have, which has a lot more games than I have. So that will take 
a short while time to locate it. I'll see you very soon with that video. Time to move these stuff onto this bag. It's gonna take a little bit while, but enjoy the fun in the process with me. So, there you go. Arranging, putting it inside into my all new bag. It took me a lot of while, like 10 minutes or 15 minutes to do the same. But now at least, this job is always, always going to be a cumbersome one. And packing those game CDs neatly in, just to make sure that the accuracy, like they don't bulge out or they don't just come out from underneath. And basically that's, that's it. And lastly is the pen drive box. The USB-OTG goes somewhere else, and that is basically it.